namaste everyone so we're going to be doing the day 9 to day 16 of the body positivity challenge if you remember the last class we did for the body ch challenge positivity challenge we were in Malasana significant day oh, gosh, 8 so let's go down to day 8 in Malasana I know the last class we did it in a chair so if you have your chair go ahead and go grab it if you want to try this without the chair remember it is a deep deep squat you're trying to put your sit bones to the ground you can use a prop like a block a yoga wheel a box whatever you whatever you like okay so hopefully I gave you some time to go grab your chair or whatever prop you needed and let's start with day eight of the body positivity challenge shall we so we're gonna go into malasana so from a standing position I just go into that deep squat take my elbows separate my knees Ooh, almost lost my balance so we ended the last class here we're not going to stay here too long we're just trying to connect our tailbones to mother earth just to start getting that air back in okay and then we're going to lower ourselves down to go and proceed into day eight so what do i do i just walk my hands down first and my knees and I place my seat back. You can still sit on your wheel or your prop, whatever you like. If you're in a chair, just sit down here. And try to sit up nice and tall. Allow the sit bones to be comfortably underneath. And allow the spine to be right in between the space of the hip bowl. And sit up nice and tall. Allow the glutes to be slightly cupped so you can feel a cushion beneath you. Now, if you remember from uh, day one and day eight of the Body Positivity Challenge, day seven was mirror work. And we were talking to the person in the mirror and just discovering what words the person in the mirror had to say to us. And then in Malasana, we had to just sit down deep and contemplate. Now we're going to be in a sitting position and we're gonna place ourselves as if we're in a seed. So we're planting our seed ourselves into the ground. And we're going to allow the words from our mirror work to start to settle into the body. How much love do you have for yourself? How much love do you have for your body? Did you like seeing the person in the mirror? Did the person in the mirror speak to you in a different way? Does the outer body reflect the inner body? Does the inner body show more? Whether you're in transition of working out and getting thinner or toner or in transition from genders to allow the outer body to reflect what the inner body is were you able to get some grace and love out of it from the mirror work were you able to plant that seed of beginning to love the body in the transition that you're moving towards you get to see your body lovingly for just a moment enjoy the story your body has to tell the secrets your body is waiting to expel to you And as a seed, when it's getting ready to 
row. I want you to begin to move yourself side to side. Remember, if you're sitting down on a block or a yoga wheel, try your best to keep yourself steady from the sit bones and just move your shoulders and your torso side to side, not your hips, okay? If you're in a chair, you're just allowing the sit bones to stay still is moving from your torso and your feet are just staying still in front of you. And you just get ready to blossom into the new person you are. Coming out of your shell, coming out from your seed. So we're gonna start to make ourselves room because when we sprout out from the seed that we are in, we sprout out, right? So I'm going to allow you to take the leg that's right in front of you and take it out to the side. Keep this leg close by. And you're going to allow the fingertips to explore. Go up and down the leg for me, please. Touch the toes and then roll yourself up. And just continue to just gently rub yourself up and down. Nice feathery touch. This helps your lymphatic system. It's that nice soft touch. My Ayurvedic teacher was teaching me about the lymphatic system and how just giving ourselves a self massage resets the lymphatic system and if you don't know what the lymphatic system is your lymph nodes they are the protectors the guardians of your immune system so just this sensual touch that you're doing not only sends loving vibes to your body it awakens your immune system and it just gives it that nice, ah, oh, feeling. Besides, you get to explore with your fingers that beautiful leg of your And do your best to reach the ankle or the toe, whatever you want, and you're just going to hold that pose. If you can get grab your toes, you're going to pull your toes back, push the heel, and feel that stretch in the side body. So give yourself a smile. Give me a smile. See how that leg feels. See if the leg gave you loving thoughts, even in the transition that you are in. We're going, we're blossoming each and every day. Our outer bodies is just our filter and for our inner body. Our inner body is the most important part of us. And then you slowly allow both hands to just rub on that leg. You're going to extend this leg out first before you bend this one in and you take it out to the side because we're stretching out of our shells, right? And you're going to just rub the leg up and down. We have two legs. So remember to just, you know, give yourself some love, you know. Work that lymphatic system. Show your leg how loving it can be and how loving you can be to it. Thank your leg for holding you up. And remember, if you're in transition of anything, whether you're toning your body, whether you're strengthening up the legs, you've gotten thicker, you have loose skin, and 
the middle of surgery, gender reassignment, whatever you're doing, just show love to the leg, show love to your body, thank it for cooperating with you and holding you up, give love to your lymphatic system, telling your immune system thank you for keeping me healthy, 